Hey, good morning, how do you do? We've got something special for you. It's just for fun, it's just for kids. All right, number six, don't just take a walk, make it count. Try an awe walk. Go to Ooh. places you have never been and tap into your childlike sense of wonder. You can see the world with fresh eyes, take in new details of a leaf or a flower. It can do big things for you. One study found adults who take a 15-minute awe walk for <laughs> eight weeks <laughs> felt more positive emotions and less stress in their daily lives. Well. If you live somewhere where you can be in awe of what you're looking at, but if you're right. walking around the same five blocks all the time, do you yeah. have to pretend? But I think that's the point. Stop and smell the roses in your own neighborhood. Really take notice, Robin. She's Pay attention have, to the details. She's going to have to rein in that positive attitude. I don't yeah. like it already. Bussy Woods is not far, that far away. <laughs> yeah. You're right. Yeah. I guess there's great things to be seen everywhere you go if you just have you the just right look. attitude. Right. Exactly. Start with the walk, message. though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Number five. So if you have a small space but still want to bring some life into it, you can try a vertical garden. Oh, it'll, this is fun. Right. It'll add some greenery. It could even up your game. Get it? The gardens, they're tall rather than wide, typically have expandable levels. You can grow as many plants as you want. People are growing herbs, all kinds of vegetables. Most of these vertical garden models, they even produce a harvest in a month or so or less. So, wow. yeah, innovative. All right, number four, vision board dating is a growing trend for single people. Oh, this is a good idea. <laughs> Here's how it works. Let's say you're thinking about moving to a new city for your job or maybe just for a fresh start. So right. you adjust your dating app location to see singles in that new area. Sure. If you meet someone, take it as an opportunity to book a trip and explore your potential new home. If the date doesn't work out, don't worry. You'll still get a good idea of the area and could even end up with new friends along the way. Isn't that beautiful? So you just go on a dating app in, in the new city that you're in? Is that what it is? Or you see which cities have the hottest people and yeah. that's where you decide <laughs> to move. You go. <laughs> I just yeah. heard about a story of a woman who busted this guy who was sitting next to her on a plane mm -hmm. who had told her he's married and he was talking to his wife and, yeah. and then he's signing up for all these dating apps oh. next to her on the plane and she busted him on like TikTok or something. Wow. She's like, here's his name, here's his wow. shoes. Wow. Here's his, I'm like, Mm -mm -mm. Uh, <sighs> what are you going to do? Yeah. Cheaters. Did his name rhyme with Dan Ponce? <laughs> <laughs> no, you idiot. <laughs> or was it Larry Smodash? Uh, you were gone yesterday, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, number three. Uh, Dolly Parton can do no wrong. She recently shared her five-ingredient casserole, and it's oh. comfort food to a T. Here you go now. Write this down. It starts off with a layer of sliced russet potatoes, uh, followed by a layer of cooked ground beef, and then you're going to top that with a layer of sliced onions. Then you're going to dice up your tomatoes, and then uh, finally some green bell peppers. You're going to wrap it in some foil, pop it in the oven at 350 for about two hours. Two hours. And then it's going to check all the boxes, protein, vegetables, carbs. You only need one dish. And that dolly, she can't do any mm -hmm. wrong, right? Like, yeah. People will eat it just because their name's on it. Mm, it looks so good. Uh, number two, let's get into fun facts about Komodo dragons, courtesy of our friends at Mental Floss. They're excellent swimmers and have been spotted paddling along miles offshore. Their tongues pick up microscopic airborne particles, allowing them to taste their dinner from more than two miles away. Wow. When Komodo dragons do eat, they can consume 80% of their body weight in one sitting and swallow small animals whole. Here's a not so fun fact. Adults sometimes eat their own offspring, uh -huh. so until they are large enough to fend for themselves, smaller Komodo dragons will roll around in feces to avoid getting eaten. Well, we've all done that. Yeah. Do what you gotta do, I guess. <laughs> it would be terrifying to see that thing uh, running at, at me. Yeah. Uh, all right, number one, a woman recently went viral when she shared her shock to find out that some people pay their relatives to babysit. In her mind, that's what you do for family. Sure. Not everyone agrees. Mm. Thoughts? Should you pay your sister to babysit your kids? What about your parents? Brett, you haven't lived through this yet? What I you... haven't, and if my sisters were like high school age and like, you know, give them a job to do, yeah. then sure. But they're, they're aunties now. They're, no. they're grown, they make yeah. their own money. You're gonna right. watch my kids because you love them yes. and you want to. Same with my parents. Yeah, if it's a young high school kid yeah. relative, I think that's fair. right? Well, if it's for an extended, if you're like counting on them. Oh, that's true. You know, 20 hours a week, you're going to watch my kids. 
Well, where are you going? Well, I'm, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I mean, I feel like maybe I'll give you money to provide for like the food and the supplies right. that they need, but I'm not yeah. like, I'll give you 500 bucks for the week right. for you to spend on you. I'm not doing yeah. that. My parents are always busy. They're like, we got stuff to do. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. very busy. <laughs> very yeah. busy. Yeah. Well, good luck with that. Like, all right. yeah. Yeah. So that's oh. the six at six.